Hey guys, Matt here from mksmarts.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you a new secret feature on the website. So this new feature has been around for a while. It was on the old legacy website that we had and it was a feature on this website for a brief period of time, but it is now back and it's ready to stay and it's gonna be the final place where you guys can ask all of your questions and where the community can interact. And that I am talking about the forums. So if you click on the tab forums and click go to forums, it brings you to forum.mksmarthouse.com. Now we have been working on this forum for quite a bit of time now because all the previous forum providers we've had we did not like and then we found discourse and decided to stick with it and it's going to be the forum that we're going to use probably forever now. So there's two ways of accessing this forum. You can either go from the mksmarthouse.com website or you can go to forum.mksmarthouse.com. So some of you may or may not be familiar with this course. This is how it looks in the top left. We have the logo. Then here you have categories that you can choose from. You have the latest topics, the top topics, the categories, and I'll quickly go through them. So you have the open hab category. So this is everything that has to do with open hab. And then you have open hab bindings. Then you have control devices. So all of the control devices that I have, the blinds control sprinkler system, LED strip control, these are all categories within the control devices category. Then you have sensor devices category, so this has the door and window sensor subcategories. You have sun off, and then you have home network, site feedback. And so with the site feedback, if you have any suggestions, opinions on the website or the forum, you can leave those there. Then you have video requests. So if you have a video idea, or want a video on a specific topic, then you can post your topic in this category and then I can see it and possibly do a video on it. And now if I go back to the homepage, you can see in the top right there's a new topic. We'll cover how to do a new topic in a bit. And then you have your search bar so you can search through the entire forum. You have the menu and then you have your account. I'm already logged in. Normally you would see a sign up uh, button or a login button to log in and then you have the new topic so let's cover how to create new topic so in here you would create the title of your topic and then here this is the very important part you select the category of your topic so this is the category of which your topic falls into so say uh, your ESP8266 on your blinds control isn't flashing then you would go over to um, control devices and then blinds control and then you type in your problem here and then create click create topic we're not going to do that for this video and that is the interface so my goals for this forum is that we have a big community and everybody can create questions create um, post their problems uh, post solutions help other people out and overall make a big resource for people in the future as well as now who are experiencing certain problems. For other people that are currently having problems, they can quickly come here, type in their problem, and it might already be solved. And if it's not, then they can type it in and hopefully get it solved. So this is gonna be a little bit of a bonus for people still sticking around in the video. You may have noticed that there is a new MK Smart House logo, and I'm very proud and happy with this logo. I'm gonna go back to the main site because it's bigger here. And there's a couple symbols in this logo. So the first part is that it is orange. And the orange stands for OpenHab because that's one of the uh, platforms that we use. And then here we have a blue part. Just a little, just little hint right there. Not going to explicitly say what that uh, is meaning. And then we have Wi-Fi because all devices we make are Wi-Fi because those are simple and easy to use and you don't have to drag wires anywhere. And then here you have a little diode symbol to simplify that we do stuff on our own. And then we have a power cord because we have everything hardwired in so we don't have to deal with batteries. But maybe in the future we'll make some battery operated devices or convert some to battery. But I thought that was a cool little touch. And that is it.
So that concludes this video. Please go and head over to the forum, create an account, create a topic, even reply to this main topic right here. Just say whatever you want, just reply to it, anything. I want to get this forum up and running with many users, uh, many different people having conversations. I'm so excited for this and I can't wait. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or head over to forum.mksmarts.com. Goodbye.